E360 TV proudly presents Messages of Inspirational Stories TV show. Live streaming now to millions of devices around the world on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, YouTube Live, Facebook Live Streaming. Our shows are available video on demand on these channels. And we broadcast daily Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time on these channels. On Mondays, Expanding Your Business, Tuesdays, Finding Health Naturally, Wednesdays, Mentoring Our Youth, Thursdays, Pets We Love, and on Fridays, Women in Leadership. Brought to you by our producers and hosts, Jim Grant and Donna Guimwa. Along with our host, Bieta Severin Reed and Emerson Brantley. Supported by our admin team of Michaela Vidal and Gaia Guinoa Balcone Leda. And welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. The Messages of Inspirational Stories is proudly brought to you by the good guys at the 6minutewebinar.com. And ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to the 6-Minute Webinar, it looks like we got some crows flying up there. We aren't going to pay any attention to them. <laughs> the lighting in here varies a little bit sometimes, and maybe I didn't set the studio lights properly, but no big deal. The 6-Minute Webinar enables you to communicate to your ideal client exactly what the ideal client is looking for from you. To give an example about what I mean, how many times have we clicked on an ad or we've got an email in and it looks kind of interesting, so you click on it and for some strange reason, the person goes on and on and on for about 10 minutes <laughs> explaining the problem. Well, if you're like me, if you didn't understand the problem, you wouldn't be there in the first place. The six-minute webinar enables you to present your presentation on one single thing that you do, whether it's a product that you sell or a course or whatever it might be, and it even has a call to action because people value their time much more than they do their money, believe it or not. Time is very, very important to people. They want to know in just a few minutes whether or not you are the person that can help them in their hour of need. With me today is my brother by a different mother, <laughs> Dr. George Grant, and let me welcome him to the stage. And welcome to the stage, sir. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Jim. Always good to see you. Oh, yeah. We're always glad to have you here. You know, it's, it's always a blessing because of all the great information that we're able to provide on our daily shows. And <laughs> I tell people, you know, Dr. Grant and I were uh, brothers by different mothers. He came from the fast talking grants and I came from the slower talking grants. <laughs> <laughs> we've we've had so, an interesting week, haven't we? Yes. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to give a quick little recap very quickly. Back in 2021, I think it was around August, September, somewhere in there. I don't remember when. And Dr. Grant did an AO scan on me. Now, the AO scan picks up your voice frequency. There it is. <laughs> and uh, what was amazing was that it just gives you how many pages that thing? 50, 60 something? It's a 220 box. pages long from 15 second voice. Wow. Yes. And it measures everything. And I went online and I was looking at a YouTube video and this guy pointed out one specific thing that the AO scanner picked up. And he says it wasn't there before, but it's here now. You want to know why? And he picked up this ball and says, I've been taking this supplement. <laughs> But that's how accurate it was. And one of, it was the only device that red flagged or gave me some warnings about my heart. That being said, you know, my blood pressure was always good, 120-something over 68 to 74. My LDL, bad cholesterol, the last time I had a good physical and blood test in 2019 was only 73. 
So I'm thinking, you know, what you, what did the doctors tell me? Hey, you're doing great. Keep doing what you're doing. You're in fantastic health. And I'm thinking that that, you know, good blood pressure and great, you know, cholesterol levels, that was a safety net. But on October the 29th, on a Friday night at midnight in 2021, I had a heart attack. It landed me in the ER and my blood pressure was 190 over 111. I stayed in the hospital the whole weekend. The next day, or the next Monday, on Monday morning, they sent me in for, uh, for stents. And that's when they said, stents will not work for you. You have the widow maker. You got over 90% blockage in your, your main, um, the bo bottom portion of your heart, the LAD. And he says, my cardiologist says, you need surgery. You need it today. We cannot put this off. And I had open heart surgery and four bypasses. And I tell people, I'm thankful that I had a heart attack. People look at me weird when I say that because I had a mild heart attack and I had the widow maker, but with the bypasses, I don't have to worry about that now. And working with Dr. George Grant, I can not only maintain good health, but I can improve my heart health. Because, you know, the reason why I say that, uh, Dr. Grant, George, uh, is that I did some research, and in 2009, the UCLA Medical Department, they uh, put out a report that said 75% of the patients who wind up in an ER with a heart attack are just like I am. No previous warning signs, no problems, no blood pressure, cholesterol, none of that. Now, a lot of medical doctors will disagree with that, but there's one major disconnect with that. Trust me when I say, and you already know this will be true as soon as I say it. When you wind up in an ER with a heart attack, they don't call your medical doctor. They call a cardiologist. <laughs> the medical doctors most of the time never even see the patient. And it's so critical for you to know what's going on inside your body. And that AO scanner... <laughs> <laughs> that thing still blows my mind. And today we had a good friend of mine, Karen, Dr. Karen Perkins. She may be able to join us. I don't know. But anyway, she uh, I sent her an email and she responded to it. And Dr. Grant, I'm going to let you pick up from there. And what did she say when she first came here? I mean, you already had her on a Zoom call and she was already you know, done. But what did she say? Share that with us, please, including me. I hadn't heard the story either, folks. <laughs> she was actually, Dr. Uh, Karen Perkins was so amazed how well this device can assess her health from inside out, give her 220 pages long from 15 second voice. So she was so amazed. She, I got lots of wows from her and she was skeptical in the beginning. How can 15 second voice give me 200 plus pages long assessment? <laughs> I told her about you, Jim, and I told her this is what I've seen for Jim's heart here. So your mm -hmm. name is on top there, and that was your heart there, and that was the red flag that I just pointed out to you there. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he did not heed my advice. And then he said, all my numbers are okay, so there's no need to worry about that. Little later, he found out that this is to be something that worth, uh, you know, heeding and <laughs> worth, uh, you know, mm -hmm. applying uh, the knowledge that we have here in terms of this assessment to show that there was some mm -hmm. problems indicating by the red flag right there. That's your heart right there, Jim. And it uh -huh. shows in three dimensions, the top wow. of the heart, it shows all of the red flags right there. Mm -hmm. So uh, Dr. Uh, Karen Perkins was also interested to see that she is very healthy. She had a little bit of fine tuning. Of course, we cannot discuss this right. without her permission. But yeah. uh, everybody that I do this to, you know, uh, Jeremy Stone is the one that come to mind right now. I hope he can is able <laughs> to join us. Oh, yeah, he will. <clears throat> Jeremy has a tremendous story that I helped him. And I wanted him to tell the story. And it's for me to tell him, you know, uh, his story. So here he is, my good <laughs> colleague and good friend, Jeremy Stone, our business coach here from all the way from uh, Kentucky in the USA. Jeremy, welcome and cheer. Welcome to the show, my man. Go ahead. Hey, yeah, go thank ahead. you, Jim. Thank you. 
Thank you, Dr. Grant. Well, you know, I, I, I too uh, met Dr. Grant. And he told me about this little thing called an <laughs> AO scan and said, just taking a few seconds of my voice that I can tell you all this wonderful stuff about you. And uh, I'm, I'm being honest, I was a skeptic. I, I, how, how can this guy, how can this guy, you know, just from my voice over a Zoom call from, you know, him being in Canada, me being all the way down in the south of the United States and Kentucky, you know, how is he going to be able to tell me anything? But I was kind of intrigued. So I thought, well, you know, shoot, it's not just a little bit of my time. And I'll, uh, I'll uh, talk to him and see what he has to say. And boy, I tell you, Jim, man, when, when, when I had that scan done, when, when he started going through that report with me, um, here's the thing, you know, I, I've, I've struggled with diabetes for over 12 years and, and not very successfully. And I, I get blood tests all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. Every three months I go to my doctor to get blood tests uh, because of my diabetes. So I'm pretty in tune with what my, my results are, what my liver functions are, my kidney functions, uh, you know, my ALT and my AST and, and all these are liver function tests, uh, my blood glucose level. And when he started going through that portion of the report, they going through my blood test. Now, come on. I mean, if you're like me, you're going, um, how is this voice going to tell you what's going on with your blood? Right. Um, but man, that was spot on. He was telling me about, you know, uh, the, the fatty liver I've struggled with. And, 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 and let me just be upfront here. I had never met Dr. Grant before, uh, except for a, about a minute and a half on, on a networking call. And I, he didn't take any kind of a, a medical history from me or anything like that. So I didn't tell him, you know, anything. But he was pointing out those things. Uh, and when he got to my liver scan on that voice scan, that AO scan, he, he was telling me about the fatty liver on there. He knew my AST levels, my ALT levels, my glucose, glucose levels. And I was starting to get a little bit amazed. And then he scrolled through some more of that report. And it gives you images of like your skeletal system and your nervous system and, and that kind of stuff. And he goes, he goes, so you got something going on with your right shoulder there. And well, tell me about your right shoulder, the pain in your right shoulder. Now, this is the God honest truth, Jim. This mm -hmm. is I've had surgery on my right shoulder. Right. And I had multiple things done to that shoulder sh shoulder that there's no way for him to have known about that, right? No, um, I, I understand. Had fro frozen shoulder. I had a torn uh, a ligament in or something. They shaved off a little piece of the bone. Uh, mm. You know, I mean, they did all kinds of things in there, but he was able to pick that up on there. And oh, yeah. uh, I, I quickly became a believer so much so that I brought my wife on to do one for herself. Now, I told you that I'm a skeptic. My wife is even more a skeptic. <laughs> She's like, mm -hmm. this is a bunch of – I said, honey, there is no way that he could have known this stuff about me. You know what's going on with my body, and look at this report. So she, she you know, begrudgingly uh, <laughs> got on with me, and and, and he, he's getting through the report, and he's calling, calling out things. And he's like, so uh, you got pain in your left knee, and you got something going on with the, the ligaments or the tendons in there. She goes – well, I had surgery, had ACL surgery on my left knee, and mm -hmm. my, it's never been the same since then. I can't do the activities that I want to do mm -hmm. uh, or anything like that on there. There's no way for him to have known that. Mm -hmm. I have yeah. brought a number of my business colleagues now to come and do the AO scan with him because yeah. I'm recommending it to everybody. And every one of them, Jim, mm -hmm. walks away just like you and I have. Wow. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, how can that be? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, the thing that I really liked about the AO scan is that uh, how complete it was, how thorough it was. Uh, it's the most uh, complete diagnostic tool that you can possibly have to understand what's going on deep down inside your body. Plus the fact you now have a diagnostic tool, and I think that's the great way of putting that, or the correct way of putting that. Okay, Jim, let's, let's 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 call it a, a, a very good wellness assessment tool because we do not do diagnosis, we do not okay. prescribe new medications. Uh, it's an assessment tool, so we use this tool. to assess mm -hmm. a situation. So mm -hmm. I told yeah. uh, actually Jeremy when I saw him, uh, Jim, that his blood sugar is not controlled. How many medications are you taking? He said six. I said, how in the world are you going to take six medications and your blood sugar going up and down? And he told me that sometimes it goes up to 350 or 400. I said, 
uh, journey, like 100 would be the optimal, and then you're like three or four times this mm -hmm. much. How yeah. the six medication controlling this? Guess what, uh, Jim? He shared with me that this, if he would have purchased those six medication, mm -hmm. it would cost him about 3,000, a little bit over $3,300. $3,500. A he only pay $400. So I said, mm -hmm. okay, so you're paying $400 from your pocket. Your blood sugar is not controlled. It goes from 300 plus all the way to 375, 400. It's supposed to be 100. And he said, what does I need to do? So I did recommend him the Wellness IQ at the Academy of Wellness.com. He changed his diet. He took a few supplements here and there. He called him back in two weeks. Only 15 days, Jim, that his <laughs> blood sugar now is 89, under 90, not under 100, under 90 from mm. 300, 400. Now, I, I could not actually believe it myself because this is like dramatic. In two weeks, like, give me a break. It should take like three months, six months, maybe nine months, like the clients that I've seen before. It took mm -hmm. him this much. So here's one client. He had 100% clogged arteries yeah. here. 100%. Yeah. And they, I give him actually three months to live. Yeah. And that's yeah. back 2004. Oh, now, yeah. with the assessment that we did, and the recommenda one recommendation for change his diet and so on, since 2004, he did not die in three weeks as they recommended, and he's still alive today. 2023, he's still alive mm -hmm. today. This mm -hmm. person here had 99%, almost like Jim Grant here. Mm -hmm. And he was taking 28 medication, not six like Jim. Jeremy was taking only six. He was taking 28 meds. Mm -hmm. 1998, yeah. you can see yeah. 28 medications, two bypass, two yeah. stents. I'm not saying the doctors tried everything, but they told him in 1998, nothing, no more we can do for you or 79. We cannot add any more meds. We cannot do any more bypass or stents. Through our wellness assessment, through the wellness IQ, doctor changes, he's got 90 nine from 99 to 50% open in nine months, no meds, mm -hmm. no bypass, no stents. So that wellness assessment was actually worth, mm -hmm. worth it for him. He's now since 1999, he's not taking any meds, mm -hmm. no bypass, no stents. Doctors mm -hmm. here initially gave him three months to live in 1998. Yeah. Him mm -hmm. and Jeremy, he's still alive today at 101. One, oh, yeah. oh, one alive. That's yeah. what we're talking now about here. Yeah, because like I was going to say, and I'm glad you corrected me on that, it's a wellness assessment uh, yes. uh, tool that you can now have to go to your medical doctor, yes. and, you know, and go from there. And because yes. uh, there's the medical doctor will not have any testing, to my knowledge, oh. that's as thorough as that AO scan. Yes, because we, you know, from uh, my good friend Bill Heinrich and several other people that I associate with. Uh, they talk about everything in the universe, including ourselves, as a vibration. Yes. That's and in exactly. doing research on the AO scanner, picking yes. up your the vibration of your voice. Yes. That is why. That is why it's very, very hard, if not almost impossible, to pass yes. a lie detector test because... Yes. <laughs> yes. you're, you're, you may be saying the words like this, but your body, it just vibrates the negative and that you are, you know, not telling the truth is what it says. Exactly. And 220 pages of this, three dimensions, almost oh, like yeah. the MRI in, mm -hmm. in the body head to toe. When you do an yeah. MRI in the States now for one organ, you pay about three to five grand. Okay. Oh, we do yeah. this thing here from head to toe and that's almost yeah. like 85 pages long. Mm -hmm. I mean... This wellness assessment is worth every person joining us today on Facebook or Roku or uh, YouTube to at least worth to do it. So just contact us, either mm -hmm. Jim, Jeremy, or myself, and tell oh, us yeah. what you need to do. And by the way, I did not tell Jeremy to reduce his medication or to stop medication, but guess no. what? He called me after two weeks. I could not actually believe what I heard. You know, Jim, mm -hmm. he said... I'm not taking the six medications anymore. My blood sugar is under 90, it's 89. And I have a continuous blood sugar monitoring. So he knows exactly in the same moment what's his blood sugar. And he mm -hmm. said, he did not take the six medication. It went from 300, 350, even 400 to mm -hmm. under 90 without the medications. Because he followed the wellness IQ at the academy mm -hmm. of wellness.com. Yeah. He watched That's what he ate. And then when he told me he released 10, 12 pounds, I said, in two oh, weeks, yeah. are oh, you yeah. kidding me? <laughs> like, I did not go oh, yeah. on any diet. I just told oh, you yeah. watch what eat vegetables and, and, and do all of the stuff in the wellness IQ. You know what, uh, Jim and Jeremy? 
I'm so proud that he have those results because he recommended for me somebody whose name is Jared. He's actually next door neighbor. He lives in Maple, exactly seven minutes from me. Mm -hmm. Jared was more skeptical than you, Jim, than you, Jeremy. He was so skeptical. He's he's a businessman, and he said, "Really, fifteen second voice is going to give me two hundred mm -hmm. plus pages, uh, you know, all yeah. detailed information, including three dimensions like MRI or mm -hmm. CBC blood test." I said, "Jared, let's do it." After mm -hmm. he I finished this. He said, you made me a believer. Wow. Mm -hmm. Today, yeah. Jared referred his wife. He is even more skeptical than Jared, Jeremy, and mm -hmm. <laughs> Jim combined. And she was so amazed about the accuracy oh. of this test. Uh, Melanie, um, was, could, she could not believe it. She said, yeah. oh my God, you told me information I... that, it, like, I could <laughs> not believe it. I heard from four different doctors, and he told mm -hmm. me this in 15-second voice. You know, the, the point is this. I'm not a physician, I'm only a PhD scientist. I only have three doctorate, three masters, and three bachelor's degree. I only written 250 pages. I only worked for the FDA and the CDC and Health Canada for 10 years. Mm -hmm. I know little, very little. And the more I know Jim and Jeremy, the more I wanted to know, the more I need to learn. So the yeah. last time I'm gonna stop learning is in my last breath. I'm right now <laughs> seven, <laughs> finished 73. Yeah. I know I look younger, thanks very much, because I follow the same thing you guys yeah. following. I, I walk my talk. <laughs> so, I'm going to be 75 then, in August. And I, you don't look it. You well, don't the, look it. After yeah. my heart attack, yes. uh, you know, my family didn't say anything because uh, they already know me. You know, know that, you know, how driven I am. When I say driven, I don't mean in a negative way. But I had a couple people who were concerned and says, Jim, are you going to retire now? <laughs> and see, in life, as you travel down the pathway of life, yes, your mission in life yes. is to be a service to others. Yes. And my standard answer is that I'll probably retire the day before I die. If I get a chance, I'll call you. And if not, I'll see you on the other side of the Jordan. <laughs> because I enjoy what I do. And that's yes. one of the secrets in life is to, you know, enjoy what you're doing. Yes. And, Absolutely. Uh, you know what, Jim? I, I, I do know that you love what you do. And I mm -hmm. do I know that you do what you love. And that's the secret here for people to love what they do, love themselves, mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. others. So I'm going to start with this. Here's my secrets to live longer, healthier, even though my parents did not make it, you know, in their mid 40s and mid 50s. And my grandparents, the same thing. I'm here still 73 and still enjoying life. The secret is this. Live, learn, laugh let go and leave a legacy you know yeah. it's really simple things that mm -hmm. what you're doing here that's why jim you look much healthier than before and oh, you do not yeah. look 75 and yeah. you, I, uh, you have an open heart surgery and you look good look at jeremy stone here how many people can even guess that he was taking six medication his blood sugar was 350 to 400 and he's yeah. now not taking any medications he released 10 15 pounds of weight yeah. and he looks 10 years younger than his age this is what we do here. It's anti-aging. It's like mm -hmm. you age gracefully. That's what yeah. it's all about. Simple yeah. tips. Wellness and, and, IQ. Free 10 questions. Contact and, uh, me today to get your own scan here to see what's mm -hmm. going on inside yeah. your body. And then we're going to detect and correct those frequency. Yeah, and that's and the, why we do what the, we do. We and the good news is for some of my military friends out there and my buddies. Yes. <clears throat> hey, guys, don't have to worry about studying for this test. It will not measure your IQ or your intelligence, so you can you're you're home free there. You know, I mean that's that's a gimme. And uh, I've sent a message to the private chat there, and I want to get some feedback. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, let me say this about Dr. Karen Perkins and her husband Darwin. I've known them for many years. They're wonderful people, and for me to be able to share, send an email. Tell her a little bit, you know, about, you know, my heart and what, what I went through and uh, to share with her about the, the value of the AO. And but she but by knowing me, she went ahead and she contacted Dr. Grant, even though she was kind of like, hmm, what is this, you know? <laughs> and then she started out like, how can 15 seconds on a voice analyzer, you know, <laughs> You know, I mean, this thing is quicker than a breath analyzer, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it just blew her away. And I'm very happy to say 
I have, uh, and I'm sure Jeremy will agree with this and Dr. Grant would too. I checked with several cardiologists about the harmful side effects of the statins that they give yes. patients like me. Yes. And Dr. Grant, you may recall this. We were going to do a show one time and I had the jitters and I couldn't even push the button. You remember that? Yes, I do. And what had, and what happened to me after my open heart surgery on, on a Monday, on Wednesday night, I went into AFib. And for those of you that's ever have been into AFib, you know how, what, what that's, a, what that's like. And so they put me on AFib medication in addition to all the other medications. And I'm thinking, man, if I take all this medications, I won't even have any room in my stomach for food. <laughs> and that AFib medication gave me the shakes and the shivers. And I called my cardiologist. I didn't call him. I left him a message. I says, I can't take this stuff. This is driving me crazy. And then working with other cardiologists and listening to them, that do not prescribe statins, they encourage their patients to get a healthy diet, to use uh, a product called dandelion and, you know, weed, they, you know, it's actually a wonderful plant. And I drink the dandelion tea and Dr. Grant now has got me on the heart health pack from uh, Melaleuca. And so not only am I losing weight and feeling good, you know, if it just makes me a little bit more smarter, I'll have the world in my hip pocket. <laughs> but I say that, folks, and I, I tell you what, uh, I, I hope that you or someone that you may know will get in touch with Dr. Grant. Let me put his website up there, and we have another gentleman backstage. We need to get up here, and... Uh, Donna's not with us today, so go to academyofwellness.com and get in touch with Dr. Grant. And, you know, please, 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 he will do this scan for free. You don't owe me or anybody else anything else, because if I can pay it forward and bless you or someone you know that is very near and dear to your heart, I've been overly paid down the road because that's just a way it's a wonderful thing the way the energy in this world works when you share your energy and your compassion your love for your fellow man yeah. it comes back and you know in Jim, a, you, say it's a, it's a, you mentioned it's free let's call it complimentary because i do charge 250 dollars yeah. mm -hmm. for every hour of my time and for our best mm -hmm. clients today we charge 150 but because of you jim and because of jeremy stone here I'm um, actually offered you 10 complimentary scans for each mm. one of you. The first 10 will get that complimentary scan. It's not free, it's it. complimentary because my time is worth money. It cost oh, me yeah. actually uh, over half a million dollars to earn my three doctor, three masters and three bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. It cost me money to earn yeah. those degrees. So when I charge 150, I mean, I am paying you know, forward for all my education oh, <laughs> up yeah. that I've done in my 20s, 30s and 40s. And now in my 73, I'm senior citizen right now, but it's, I'm going to go this complimentary, not free. Yeah, complimentary. Like I'm, yeah. I'm stand corrected. Thank you for yes. correcting me on that. You're very welcome, Jim. We have a gentleman backstage by the name of Bob Tuttle, and Bob says he has had the AO scan. Yes. And he went from AFib to almost no AFib. And so I understand what AFib's about. If you folks have never had or been through AFib, let me say this openly and honestly. I hope and pray you never do, because <laughs> you're gonna feel like a feel like you're on a treadmill and you can't get off. It just wears you out. So let's say hello to Bob Tuttle. Welcome to the show, Bob. I believe you got your mic muted, sir. Yes, I got the mic mute. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to the show. How's it doing, Professor Grant? Yeah, I'm doing great, Bob. Bob also was one of the most skeptic person. He said, I work for Kaiser. What are you going to do for 15 seconds here to tell me about my AFib? I said, Bob, after one hour, you tell me your opinion. And Bob from Kaiser Institute told me he's a believer in this <laughs> quantum frequencies. Okay, I'm not going to put any words in your mouth, Bob. Go ahead, sir. What well, no, I, I worked in, um, when I went to work for Kaiser, I was in medical research. Mm -hmm. And so I would evaluate research papers and 
take a look and, and provide back to the medical group whether a research paper warranted um, further investigation or not. So, I mean, I did that, you know, all of the time. And I and trust me, I was going through lots and lots of research papers. And so when somebody tells me they're going to, you know, measure my, my voice for 15 seconds and then tell me all this stuff, it was like, you know, there were more red flags that went up than I can even count. When, when he started sending me the paperwork and I started printing it out, yeah. I said, holy mackerel. You know, it's like, I can't believe that in 15 seconds you can crank that out. And then I started to think back about the fact that I have, I've done research in the past about food frequency and and internal organ frequency and what things are the right things to eat based on on that kind of activity and you know the you get in to some extent you get into the quantum physics part of it but the thing is is that it started to then start to make more sense to me i said well yeah. okay and especially since the report looks so good but then then he said okay well what you need to do is you're not breathing from your gut. And so I said, okay, you know, I was breathing up, uh, doing chest breathing instead of gut breathing. So he says, you have to do that, you know, at least a couple of times every hour. You, you know, you deliberately have to breathe from your gut. And so I have a, I have a device that at home I can measure my EKG. Yeah, And so I've, I've been measuring it on a regular basis and it always comes up AFib. So after only a couple of days of breathing from my gut, I'm sitting there and I go and I take the test and it says suspect AFib. And I'm sitting there saying, what? That's the first time that I've seen suspect AFib. So then a couple more days later, I take it again and it said normal heart rate. I'm sitting wow. there saying, Oh, you gotta wow. be kidding me! How can I just breathe <laughs> differently, all right, and and go from one thing to another, of which I've been on, you know, Pradaxa for, yeah. for probably the last ten years, yeah, all right, AFib medication, and it's like, oh, maybe I don't need to take that anymore, you know, <laughs> and so it's and and after hearing some of the other people who have talked about, uh, you know being diabetic, it's like, you know, I keep on getting all these things that I'm, I'm near diabetic or I'm, you know, close to being diabetic. And it's like, you know, so take this drug and take that drug. And so it's like, you know, it, it really is a pretty amazing. And I, I just sent you, doctor, I just sent you a, an email because I want my son and my son-in-law who both work for Kaiser. Yes. I want them to, uh, take your uh, your wellness test and and get yes. the AO test because I value their their feedback as well and uh, I'm I'm not going to say too much to them in advance cuz I want yep. them to basically tell me what their experience was mm -hmm. you know bob I'm so grateful that you shared this story with us and as I've given uh, Jim Grant and Jeremy Stone here, the 10 complimentary scan. I'm going to offer this to you, Bob, because you have inspired us today. I mean, how many people are having AFib, taking lots of medication, and the AFib is not under control? And I never ask you to stop medication or to reduce medication. Similar with Jeremy Stone. How many people are taking diabetes medication to cost them 2000 3000 even up to 4000 if they don't have an insurance, even if they pay, co-pay even four four $500? It's still an expense and then the blood sugar is not controlled how many people like jim grant had open heart surgery we can help him naturally uh, we're not against physician by the way i just want to make crystal clear i publish papers with them i do research with them but when any physician shows some skepticism and shows some resistance i just mentioned bob tuttle from california from kaiser jeremy stone from uh, kentucky and jim grant from texas and zip they don't even have any skepticism or resistance because now I tell them about the results that we've got here naturally within very short time. So you see results speaks, but if you give somebody medication for 28 years and then you do the bypass and you do the stents and you still have the problem, 
that in in my opinion is not success this is like definition of insanity is to keep doing whatever you're doing i'm not criticizing cardiologists i'm not criticizing any physician all i'm telling you if you do something here you don't get the results in say three months or six months it changed the it changed the breathing it changed the water it changed the medication it changed something because mm -hmm. that is what we do exactly <laughs> see this is all there is to it it's all about the wellness iq 10 questions anybody can do it here on the call anybody joining us do the wellness iq you know mm -hmm. bob uh, jim and jeremy among 25000 clients the average score among 25000 is 55 percent hmm. 55 i have somebody today who had a wellness iq of 18 percent wow this, this person here had a wellness iq of 10 percent mm. 10 percent that means they're just walking dead basically i mean mm. they're half they have a week okay and the support like the medication is not helping the bypass is not helping you know what we all here aim to increase longevity to increase uh, the quality of the health by following simple tips simple simple stuff like breathing like water like taking the multivitamins multiminerals antioxidants and, and by the way everything we recommend is based on research as bob was saying i'm a research scientist before i became a doctor i had my phd before i had my imd okay mm. everything i do is evidence-based so everything we recommend here is evidence-based we say it's published the supplement is published it's proven clinically in the literature it is predictable it's going to work in three months or your money back from the factory none of us here sell supplements we do not sell anything mm -hmm. we refer you to the manufacturer who make this product for 38 years and they guarantee it for three months and since it's published it's proven mm -hmm. clinically in basically jeremy stone's case it works like in two to three weeks it bob uh, <laughs> bob totally here it works for you what in two weeks uh, bob that you reverse yeah. it two weeks in jim grant he was initially resistant to follow my advice after he opened had the open heart surgery he's following everything i told him including the five belly breath every hour he's doing it religiously and he's <laughs> drinking the water every single day and he add to the water the lemon you know the apple cider vinegar the stuff in the water oh, yeah. side oh yeah this is simple it's like simple tips that we do here it's all published it's evidence-based and the study that on the supplement is done not just in the usa by the way it's done in germany it's done in canada it's done in the uk and yes, it's done at, in the Cleveland Clinic at in Ohio in, in the US. So we're talking here about evidence-based something to help you. Simple tips like the water, like the breathing. I believe the oxygen in the US is still free. Like in Canada, it's still free. So <laughs> breathing doesn't cost you anything. And the water is almost free. So so far it's free. And the we're looking at about $70 to $80 per month to cover everything head to toe. The basic stuff that we need to reverse AFib, to reverse diabetes, blood pressure, clogged arteries 100 percent. are you kidding me <laughs> well the name of the person is there i give you his name i give you his cardiologist name where he lives you can check it out do some research right there and same with this so we have evidence based on twenty five thousand clients if you're still skeptical come and see us and then we're going to remove your skepticism totally by showing you all of the what's have in your body here all of the food that you have the allergy towards most of the people that i tell them you have allergy toward cow's milk and cheese he said oh no cow's milk is supposed to give me a stronger bone i said but if you're producing mucus and if you have allergy toward the hormones and the antibiotics in, in, in mm -hmm. milk then you're going to have some side effects i'm a toxicologist i'm a research scientist not just a chemist not pharmacologist <laughs> i'm a jack of all trade master to none so you can see my bio here at the academy of .com, and then you judge for yourself is my three doctor, three masters, and 250 papers published is sufficient. Uh, Bob, I'm going to ask you this since you work in research with Kaiser. What is the average lifetime publication for the top scientists in Kaiser or Harvard Medical School? What's their like? What's what's their top number of publications, Bob? Lifetime. Um, lifetime. Probably right now. Um... There are a couple of people that I know at uh, Division of Research that are well over 200. Okay. I had I had 58 altogether. Oh my God! Congratulations, because the average person do not publish even like one or two papers. But I mean that is it speaks for itself. It speak that you are a good. You walk in your talk about research. You speak mm -hmm. from, from evidence based research. And if I publish 250 papers, I've completed three doctorate degrees. I don't have to say any more. But you know what? 
if somebody's still skeptical, how can FDA and CDC and Health Canada hire me for 10 years to be the senior consultant? Mm. I mean, th that's good question. Uh, yeah, it's, it's exactly it's all <laughs> based on credibility and truth. So this is what here is about to share the wellness, the good news. It doesn't matter how many medication you're taking. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what procedure that you're doing. If you did not get any success, contact one of us here. Mm -hmm. We can help you out. That's all the message we have today. Yeah. One thing I'd like to ask you, because uh, I've told people many, many times uh, my boring story of uh, being allergic to garlic. <laughs> and <laughs> you know, my wife got, got us on garlic. This is back in the 80s when everybody's one, running around with weasel breath, you know. And she found some garlic that had his rose hips or something supposed to, you know, not have the the dragon breath. And uh, at the same time, we started uh, we started taking it. I had gotten some flea and tick collars for my dogs and I put them on the dogs and I broke out in a rash on my neck. So my way of thinking this, you know, I figured, well, I got some of that chemical probably underneath my fingernails and I scratched my neck and, you know, so I guess I won't have any fleas or ticks or anything. But, <laughs> but my wife said, why don't you stop taking garlic? And I thought, well, it can't be garlic because I've heard all these wonderful things about garlic. <laughs> But I quit taking it and it cleared up. So I started taking the garlic again and it flared up again. Yeah. So my point being and where I want to go with this, Dr. Grannis um, and also Dr. Tuttle, uh, both of you, uh, what's good for the goose? Is it yes. good for the gander? And it yes. always makes me shudder when some so-called guru picks up something and says, hey, this is the fountain of youth, you know, and <laughs> everybody runs to it blindly. And I tell people, please don't do that. Do your research, because yeah. if you don't know what you're doing, you could hurt yourself or harm yes. yourself. Yes. And so this is where I want to go with that question. Uh, actually, Using Bob, uh, J uh, Jim, uh, there's lots of research published on garlic. There's mm -hmm. a chemical compound in it called allicine that acts as an antibiotic. And it's mm -hmm. also good for the heart. But it's not for everyone, as you said, if you have allergy right. toward the garlic, if you have yeah. allergy toward cow's milk, then that's mm -hmm. not for you. And yeah. if, if you have any advertisement that cow's milk build bones, I tell you, almond mm -hmm. milk also and coconut milk will build even stronger bones because they're alkaline in nature. And if yes. you have sensitivity toward garlic, maybe you can try onion. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can try, oh, yeah. as you mentioned, dandelion or oh, cayenne yeah. pepper. Like there's lots of things, but not mm. one thing, one size fits all, as, as you mentioned. It's not good right. for the goose, it's not right. good for the gander. You're right. Uh, this yeah. is what I wanted to go, and you may have the answer to this or may not. And we don't script any shows. We just follow the energy on the show, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, because I'm not smart enough to script the show, okay? I'm just going to be right up front with you because that would also destroy a mastermind which generates good energy. My question to you, Dr. Grant, you may or may not know this question, but when you take the AO scan, you get the report. Yeah. And in that report, if a person is wanting to take, like in my case, hey, I'm sold on garlic. Yeah. And would there be that would be something that they could, you know, maybe discuss uh, with their doctor or with you or say, do you see any issues there? Is I mean, I'm asking you a very tough question at a, at just on the spur of the moment there. But I'm just kind of curious. Actually, the device, Jim, will show if you have any food sensitivity. It can indicate if you have allergies toward garlic or any other herb or any I'll other stuff. Gone. It, it will show that. And when I show this to Jeremy and to Jared and to Bob mm -hmm. and to you, you were so amazed. Not a single physician ever told you what is the list of the allergens that you're taking every day or the food that you're taking every day and what mm -hmm. would it trigger? Because if you have severe allergies towards certain food, it shows here like in red and red, then you should not eat that food. If it shows only like one red, okay, if it shows only one red, mm -hmm. then we have to eat it still, like uh, like in moderation, once a week maybe. Right. But but if yes, we, absolutely, the device will show all of this, and Perfect. that is where the two hundred twenty pages report comes in. Very so valuable let me, information. Let me yeah. let me chime in about uh, about garlic. It was real. It's really interesting because um, I I used to like garlic, all right, and I didn't really have any negative effects. And when I started seeing my acupuncturist, who's a double PhD. Um, unbelievable lady she she gets she gets flown to china twice a year to take yeah. care of patients in china 
Mm. All right. So, I mean, she's in high demand. And I walked in and, and on our initial assessment, she, she did some testing and she said, stop eating garlic. <laughs> and I said, what? You know, it's just like, I know I haven't recently, so you didn't smell it on my breath. So it's like, what yeah. the heck are you talking about? She says, oh, no, I can tell because I look at your tongue. Oh, yes. And, yes. and wow. your tongue tells me yeah. that you, you should not eat garlic. You should not eat spicy food. Right. And my, my wife has been totally opposed to spicy food. Yeah. So it was no, it was no really big deal cutting out the spicy stuff and then eventually cutting out garlic. But yes. I mean, it was just so interesting because when I looked at the, the, the list from the AO scan, you know, the, the one, a couple of things were surprising. One is, is the, the kind of nuts that I should not eat. Mm. And I'm sitting there saying, geez, I normally buy these containers that have multiple kinds of nuts in them. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's apparently cashews was almost like a double red on mine. Oh, and I wow. there and said, okay, I guess I better stop eating those, you know? Yes. It's, it's very, actually a very good point, Bob, because cashew has very high amount of lectins that can cause some people to actually react. Cashew is notorious for that. So if it's red, red, that means... Cashew does not agree with Bob. So mm -hmm. if you cut back on cashew and maybe switch to walnuts or to pistachio oh, or to any God. other nuts, that should be okay. But if you keep eating cashews and you get lots of lectins, you're going to have some gut problem and they, right. you're going to have allergy. And I'm glad you mentioned about the test for the tongue because if you want to test anything that you have allergy towards, you put a small amount on your tongue and watch in two minutes if it turns red. If it did yeah. turn red, that means you have allergy because the body basically create that anaphylactic shock. Yeah. So now, now you just reminded me about something that I think is really interesting. <laughs> uh, you know, so I, I, I've stopped eating cashews. Talk about walnuts. Very mm. interesting. Pindy is also, my acupuncturist, also said, okay, you've got to start eating more walnuts. Mm. And in particular... There is uh, in Livermore, California, they grow what's called a red walnut. Yes. And she said that is absolutely the best. So then she started having me build different devices, all right, like this thing. Yeah. Right, which is a massage device. And she said, but it has to be made out of black walnut. Yeah. Hmm. And so I spent like $160 for an eight foot board of black walnut to to make those things and to also make uh, massage tools and then she said to make sure to keep all of the walnut shavings yes what why yes. She said, yes because what we're going to do is we're going to make pouches out of it and you're going to wear the pouch with the walnut the black walnut yes and it was like so so it's like i'm in my shop turning devices and making stuff and saving all of these shavings. My wife, walked, what are you doing? You know, what? just throw those in the garbage. And I said, oh, no, these are actually valuable. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, know? And you, you notice, Bob, that the shape of the walnut is the same shape like the brain. Walnut is the best food for the brain because wow. it actually provides all of their brain neurotransmitters to enhance memory, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. dopamine, acetylcholine, um, GABA, G-A-B-A, GABA, I mean, we acid, and beta mm -hmm. endorphins. And already, Bob, you already checked me out and did some research on me, and you knew I was the first scientist in the world to isolate beta endorphins in 1981. So everybody talk about beta endorphins, me and two other scientists who did isolate that. So eating walnuts, especially, as you mentioned, red or black walnuts from California, it's actually good for the brain, good for the memory, good for mm -hmm. cognitive function, and right. good to reduce stress because it reduces cortisol and reduce epinephrine. So these are the stuff that we tell people about in the wellness IQ. And that's what Jeremy Stone followed in his change in his diet. That's why he released the 10, 12 pounds. And that's why he reduced his blood sugar from high 300 to under 90. Mm. So this, this is what we talk, simple stuff here that we talk about Bob, mm. uh, yeah. Jim and Jeremy to help people on their wellness journey. Yeah. So well, I've got a can, question. Oh, go ahead, Jim. I just going to say, we got about six minutes left. So let's go ahead and, and if you go, go ahead with your question, but just be mindful of the time, sir. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. I'm watching that time there. So uh, a question for you. So the topic of the show is natural health. We've been talking about this AO scanner, which is a non-invasive assessment tool. Um, 
but really the the AO scanner, if you just gather the information and do nothing with it, isn't very helpful to you, right? Yeah. Uh, right. And so, so we, I prove that. We, have, we yeah, we have a tendency, uh, at least I know in North America, right, to to focus heavily on medicine, right? Our our medical doctors, but if mm -hmm. we're going to look at natural health, how can we? What are some steps that we could take to help to um, turn people's thinking away from just focusing? I'm yes. believing only medical exactly. doctors. That's a great and question, Jeremy. Look what Bob uh, Tuttle is actually showing you. He, <laughs> he's showing that, a big picture. I, of I have I have a clipboard yeah. that has mm -hmm. that full report on it. Yes. And it's it's hanging on my wall. Yeah. Right. And I look at it quite often. All right. Uh -huh. Just because yes. there's always something, there's so much information there. Yes. Oh, that you, yeah. you can't you can't suck it in all at one time. And yes. so what what hundred percent, hundred percent, Bob. And Jeremy is correct. It's not the data that produce, it's how we do the interpretation with the client. And when I actually checked on Bob, he is almost 10, 15 years younger than his actual age from the inside, for also from the outside. So I was really surprised how he had AFib. Why he was taking medication for this and not doing the belly breathing and drinking the wonderful fluid that we all ignore, oh, water, because yeah. most of my clients drink more soda and coffee mm. than water. That's what we need, not the soda and not the coffee. But mm. Jeremy, that's a very good question. It's very insightful. It's not the data that produces the AO. By the way, the AO stands for alpha and omega. And uh, one of my doctors who is actually studying with me, he said, AO stands for analyze and optimize because the device does that mm. it analyze the frequency Good point. And the frequency and optimize it AOs, you can call it alpha and omega or analyze and optimize you know what it's the best tool for assessment to, to see yeah. what's happening in your body and in case of bob here look at his thing that he showed you in the blood cells it's all healthy his mitochondria mm -hmm. is healthy that means he's healthy you see the mitochondria mm -hmm. is the gauge how you gonna gauge the health of a person from the inside and, mm -hmm. and that is what we do, what we do here. Oh, yeah. And it's it's just really so you, a... Just so you know, I'm 76. You look mm -hmm. uh, you look 66. <laughs> <laughs> you look yeah. very young. Yeah. Same as uh, as Jim Grant. He's 75. You look 65. Uh, I'll be 75. Jeremy is, August, actually, but, yeah. Jeremy is actually 85, but he looks 45. I'm just going to say that, Dr. G. <laughs> you know, I got y'all beat because I'm 85, but, man, I look good. Oil of the way. Yeah. It's wonders for me. Yeah. And he sleeps by hanging his feet from the rafters and in the ceiling like a mat. So he gets that fresh blood down to the brain. And well, I just had to let, let your inside secret go out. <laughs> I love you, Jeremy. Oh, yeah. It, it, I was so impressed with the first time I met him with his story. And I'm thinking there are so many people. Yeah. in the world today that's suffering from diabetes. Yes. Yeah. It's in my family. Yes. Uh, I've got a daughter-in-law that just yes. went through open heart surgery. She's diabetic. They're talking about her kidneys not working. Mm. And she's home recovering from open heart surgery, four bypasses. She was going to have three. And my son, with his warped sense of humor, <laughs> told her, says, you know, she says, I got four bypasses. It's so they told them you'll get three. He says, I had a coupon for an extra bypass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So his sense of humor, he came by it honestly, ladies and gentlemen, let me humbly say. But uh, yeah. but it was amazing how, you know, she was able to come back. And and I'm going to have Dr. Grant scan Angelina. Yes. And, uh, Happy to. Because yes. bless her heart, she too lost her dad when I think it was... 47 or so. Oh, he had his first heart attack at 47. Yeah. Oh man. That's yeah. just, you know, you know, you really hate to hear things like that because people get robbed of the life that they're so richly deserve. Yes. It's yes. cause, you know, in your life, you have the birthright to love yourself, to love others and to enjoy the abundance of life. Yes. If you just reach out and grab it. And yes. don't let it. And if someone tells you you can't do it, you know, love them enough. Say salahila, holapala, and goodbye. -o. <laughs> you know yeah, what exactly. I mean? I mean, I, and I mean that in a nice way because uh, you know there are some people that are toxic yes. as far as their information that they yes. want to spew on you. So forgive them and love them enough to let it go and don't yeah. let it rule your life because. 
it, it's really amazing. Uh, I really like um, Earl Nightingale. I met him when I was 17. I knew who he was, but I was too young and too dumb to appreciate who he was. And he has the strangest secrets on YouTube. The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale. Just close your eyes, listen to that, and play it. And I promise you that you will see things in a different light. Yeah. You really will. And we got about a minute left or maybe a minute and a half. So I'm going to hush up and turn the mic over to uh, Dr. Grant, Bob, and also uh, Jeremy and let them say anything they'd like to in their closing comments. I think we're in a mission here to reverse diabetes naturally, not just in the US and Canada and Europe, mm. but across the world, especially in the Caribbean country, which I do visit, and they have 50% of the population have diabetes and obesity. Mm. So if you combine diabetes and obesity, you have diabetes. So we are in here uh, in a war against di diabetes and obesity, especially uh, obesity in teenagers in the US and Canada. It, it's mm becoming an epidemic right now. 37% yeah. of the population affected by this. I hope between four of us, between everybody else that we know, with, with Jeremy's story, with your story, Jim, and, and your research, Bob, we can actually touch, not hundreds, I would say we can touch thousands of people mm -hmm. to reverse sure. heart disease, heart attack, diabetes, and so on. Mm -hmm. so that's all uh, I wanna add. Jeremy, the floor is yours, sir. Well, just real quickly, I think, you know, the important thing here, again, coming back to our topic of natural health is that I'm excited that, uh, you know, I've had a mind shift change through Dr. Grant here that I don't have to uh, inject my body or put chemicals in my body that have potential side effects that can harm me, uh, but that diabetes can be reversed naturally uh, mm -hmm. if, if you're getting the proper nutrition, the proper supplementation and, 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 and living things, you know, that that's, that's a fantastic way to do it. So uh, mm -hmm. it is possible. I'm living proof. Great. And Bob, final word. Uh, you know, alternative medicine and uh, AO scan, uh, they're, they're, um, they're going to be our savior, quite truthfully, mm -hmm. yeah. because uh, medicine wants to give you, uh, you know, push you to pharma and pharma's making lots of money and we're not getting that much healthier. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, we've got to have a, we've got to have a mind shift about uh what we need to do to stay healthy mm -hmm. and uh and live longer absolutely because it's your life and you have the right to enjoy the abundance of life and that is your birthright so i hope yes. that you will embrace it and be sure and check out earl nightingale on youtube the strangest secret you'll be glad you did we'll be back tomorrow we're going to be talking about mentoring your our youth we hope that you, whenever you see the whether you see the show live now on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon TV, or Grandma's TV, or whoever's TV, <laughs> we want to thank you so much for tuning in. And if you see this video on demand, please share this valuable message to someone you know that could benefit from them, because you owe them that. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.